if you're in the market for a 75 inch TV that is worth no more than $800, then you came to the right video. Stay tuned and watch out for the QR code in the end. Deciding which TV to recommend has been quite easy for me. There's this TV that I really like, something in this price range. This is the Samsung 75 inch class 4K Crystal UHD DU8000. That's right, this is a 75 inch TV priced at $797.99. This is an Ultra HD TV, which means that it has 4K resolution and is capable of displaying 3840 by 2160 pixels. No need to worry if you don't have 4K content because this has a built-in 4K upscaler, which means you can watch regular content on YouTube, Netflix, or Disney Plus, and even if it's not in 4K resolution, the TV will simply upscale it. Everything will look beautifully sharper. Of course, it won't look as good as native 4K, real 4K, but it will certainly look better. As for the picture quality, it's also quite simple. If you watch SDR or standard dynamic range content such as regular television and Netflix, then that would look great on this TV. The relatively low brightness of 280 nits won't bother much either. You'll still see everything clearly during daylight conditions. HDR content, however, is not the best. It just won't look that good because only from 500 nits peak brightness can HDR be really well displayed. With less than 300 nits, this TV is not really designed for showing HDR to its full potential. But of course, SDR content is fine. The sound on this TV is okay, to say the least. As a matter of fact, it is surprisingly good, especially for this price range. This TV is capable of sounding loud enough without being tinny. But of course, having a sound bar would be awesome. If sound is that important to you, then I recommend this one. It costs around $100, but of course, this is entirely optional. Link to the sound bar can be found in the description box below. Moving forward to the smart TV features, the TVs within the same class are similar to each other. They all run on some sort of Android-based system, and they all support the same apps such as Netflix, Disney Plus, and all that they hardly differ. Now here's the catch. They all run super smoothly at the beginning and then three to five years later, they start to become sluggish. They lag and the first apps are no longer supported. At least that's my experience. In recent years, I found a good solution for that. I just buy an Amazon Fire TV stick when it's on sale, pay about $40 for it, and then all the hassles are gone. I mean, the TV itself already has great picture quality, so I don't bother getting an entirely new TV just because its smart TV feature is lagging. Now it's time for video games. Oh boy. The thing about this TV is that it is not intended for video games. Yeah, but it can handle them well, nonetheless. If you want to play story-driven games or single-player games or anything on the Nintendo Switch, then this TV is perfect because it's a 4K TV with a very low response time of 8 milliseconds. But of course, the really good TVs achieve 1 millisecond response times at 4K and 120Hz, however costing around $1500 as we've seen with the LG C4, for example. And the DU8000 can only display 60Hz. Elden Ring, for example, can only be presented at 60Hz, but say you want to play Call of Duty 4K at 120Hz, then you have to dig deeper into your pockets and get something like the LG C4, which is of course a lot more expensive. Now moving on to a more subjective topic, design. I have to admit, TVs nowadays all look very similar. They're all slim, their bezels are quite thin, and they all look relatively simple, elegant, and modern. The DU8000 is, of course, not the most impressive in terms of quality, and the stand feet are not the most impressive either, but they are already sufficient considering the price point. I find the build quality really well done. And of course, having your TV mounted on the wall will make it look much, much better. And it won't even reveal that it's a budget TV. Therefore, my recommendation, get this wall mount Use it to put your TV on the wall and it'll certainly look impressive. Especially when the TV is quite large, you and even your guests will never recognize a premium TV from a budget TV. Now on to the last point, warranty. It is always very important to me that the sale and shipping are all handled by Amazon. That's right, if something goes wrong, you can always call them. 
they will provide you with a replacement product or simply refund your money right away. No headaches for you, dear customer. So if you're convinced, here's the QR code, scan it, and then check the current price. Under $900 is an awesome price for a TV this caliber. This has been Marty, and I'll be seeing you on the next video.